Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today, I wanna share with you a brand new grocery saving method that I just came up with that actually saved our family over $20 last week. Let's get started and talk about it and I'll just quickly show you on a piece of paper. There are wonderful videos out there in the frugal community about saving money on groceries. Yes, many of the ideas we've heard, but sometimes, even if we've heard them, our grocery bill can get out of hand. It's good to revisit those videos because they have excellent reminders. I know I sure need good frugal reminders. How about you? Well, today, I have kind of a new method, and it was kind of fun doing it. And let me tell you what to do first, and I'm going to, you may not be able to see this, but I'll show it to you also. So, let's say you're going to write a grocery list. We all know that one frugal thing to do is to make sure to go to the store with a grocery list of the items that you need, right? But, have you noticed on that grocery list sometimes, there's not only grocery needs, but grocery wants. And they're all kind of mixed together, right? Well, what I did is this. I took a piece of paper. And if you can't see this very well, just imagine doing this. Take a piece of paper or your notebook, whatever you write your grocery budget in, or your grocery list, and take a piece of paper and write a line down the middle. On one side, you're going to put all the things you really need, might be things you're running low on. Think about things that your family goes through quickly. Each of us are different. I know folks that go through eggs quite quickly and bread and milk. Those are some actual things that many people do use. You may not use those items. Some folks go through oatmeal kind of quickly. And then there's things that are not, uh, things that you can wait on on this side. And so what I did on my grocery list is I put down all the things that we go through quickly and that our family needs on one side of the list. And on the opposite, I put things we could wait on but will be good to have. And then I didn't put any what I call treats or fun foods on there and I'll explain in a minute. So I'm going to give you an example of some needs. Milk, orange juice, butter, coffee, eggs, cheese, cereal. These are the examples. Frozen vegetables, half and half because I put half and half in my coffee. Oatmeal, things like that. Items I can wait on and I'll explain. I put one as buttermilk. Let's say that you were wanting to make gingerbread and it called for buttermilk. Well, do you have to buy buttermilk? Because buttermilk can be kind of costly. So instead of buying buttermilk, you can make it with vinegar and regular milk. That would be an example. Also, for another recipe, it called for full-fat whipping cream. Well, guess what? I don't have to absolutely use full-fat whipping cream. I can use the half and half instead. Another thing, I put cake mix. Now, these are just examples. I can make my own cake if I really wanted to. Bottom line, I can substitute a lot of these. So what I did this last Sunday, I usually go grocery shopping on Sunday night, is we went through and all we put in our basket were things that were what I call needs or things that we were running low on or we go through quickly, okay? And that can change from time to time. It used to be peanut butter was one of those things. We haven't been buying it as much lately because we haven't been using it as much. So just it depends on what your family goes through quickly. And I'll ask you guys, what's a grocery item that you buy frequently? For us, one of those items would be eggs, okay? Okay, so then the next thing is you write on the next list things you can wait on. One of those items this week for me was olive oil. And speaking of olive oil, I was really surprised at the price. I remember when olive oil used to be a little over $3 for kind of a smallish bottle. Now, I was shocked. And I don't remember it even being this way three and four months ago when I bought it. It was almost $7. I didn't buy it. You know, I thought, I'm going to use a substitute. I'm going to use something else because I'm not doing that. So next time I'm at Sam's, I'll probably buy a big jug of it. There are some things that are really good to buy in bulk, and you do get a better deal. Not on everything, but I think olive oil may be one of those things. So... That was something I just let sit there because I didn't want $7 to take up my whole grocery budget. Now, let's say there's fun foods that you kind of like. For example, let's say you want pop. Is pop a need? No, it isn't. So the main thing that, you, that I would like to do is when we went through and we got all of our needs, we added up to see how much it was. We're going to say that your grocery budget is $120 a week. So if your grocery budget is $120 a week, let's say you buy all the things you're running low on, and you are at $70, okay? That means you still have some wiggle room. 
Then you go over to items that you could wait on, but it would be good to have. So instead of using garlic powder, you might want to buy fresh garlic. And so you might put that in your cart, okay? That would be an example. Or let's say you just bite the bullet. You know you're going to need olive oil, so you get that instead. So then what we did is we bought a few items that we could wait on, but we were still in the budget. Then what we did is we went through the fun food aisle. Do we have any money left over for fun food? We had a little bit left over, so we each got one little thing. Now, if we wouldn't have had money left over, that would be something that we don't get that week. So, I really recommend this. We spent less than $100. Normally, we spend $120 to $125 a week. We spent less than $100 because we just primarily stuck to needs. We bought only a few items that we could wait on, and I'm substituting ingredients, and we only bought a couple what I call fun foods, and that kept us under $100. Let me know what you guys think of this new method. I hope it's something that can work for you. Let me know how you're saving money on groceries. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye, everybody.